Let's start with Naveen. Uh, I would like to... No, no, one second. Please, please, everybody needs a couple of minutes. So you need to do it because you're spending a couple yeah, of minutes. Yeah, we have to go to discovery also. That is very interesting. Yeah. You have to discover yourself. ashamed on that and you know it just provoked me to do something more than what we are doing right now the, the thing that they are doing is truly noble you know a country needs more people like them and like we one of them sometime thank you uh, for uh, Naveen and uh, Pankaj and team who have given me the opportunity to join this uh, particular event uh, it's very nice being here in Agastya and uh, their work on creativity, education and, you know, you know, a different kind of an education, not a normal one. It's very interesting and uh, I think uh, more than financially, I would like to, you know, uh, contribute my talents, you know, where I feel, you know, I, I have a little bit of talent here and there, which I can definitely, you know, contribute to the young children and uh, through the community uh, uh, worker, you know, that is very the operation Vasanta. I really would like to have a like applause of hands for that. It is a very very interesting topic. So thank you so much, uh, the management team. <laughs> okay. uh, as Kavya said, for me this is the first uh, social impact event that I am attending, and this is a good exposure to me. And uh, I like that part where uh, they focus on experiments and all that. And, uh, just the theory part where uh, students understand much better than the theory part and uh, it was really good and uh, I'll try to do some of my talents also, I can help and uh, thank, you. thank you so much. So you could relate to the theorem, like the one which was doing that was yeah. the You could relate? Yeah. Perception of the and all that stuff? Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, so basically, like I have always wanted to make some worth out of my life so I thought that after coming to south like I am from the north I thought after coming to south it's the end I don't I won't be able to interact and um, interact with the people over here because I don't understand their language and uh, this has kind of shown me that yeah I can do that without uh, learning their language and yeah, language is not the barrier. Yeah. My mind was. You, yeah, you. My mind was the barrier. You listen and talk from the heart. Yeah. Good. So apart from that, uh, I guess these two days we just had a whiff of the problem. These guys have already explored a lot and tried to find solutions too. And most of us over here, being engineers, I know for sure that when an engineer gets down to solving a problem, he does get a solution to it. So there are a lot of unformed questions yet in my mind that the problem is not there in my mind the problem to be solved is not there in my mind I would like to experience it more and get the problem formed in my mind then get down to the solution 
and help them solve things piece by piece, perfecting one thing and then going on to the another. So I would try to contact them and in a personal way, obviously. Con so he is going to be in search of problems. Yeah. I'm going to give you problems. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So you see the beauty, right? Generally, people go in search of solutions. Who wants to go in search of problems? I said we didn't have any. So just that that this twist that that happened. To it, I think it's an aha moment that has happened for you that I'm not going after solutions. No, I'm going after problems. So that I can have solutions for them. Good. Okay. This is very similar to the approach we have in the entire classroom. So normally, see any classroom is uh, normally just by how many answers are answered by the kids. In August year, we questions. judge how many questions have been raised by the students. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I was saying generally we are towards finding problems, not going and finding, uh, finding solutions, not problems. That is a very very unique yes. uh, so this is not the first uh, NGO organization I have visited right now. I visited a lot of organizations and NGOs. Akhmej and uh, So we also like, you know, do voluntary services over there. But uh, coming over here and Not just educating the child, right? Educating the child in the right way, which many of us have not uh, gone through that process ourselves. If you observe, right? Uh, uh, when I read about Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, I hear that his science teacher used to take him to the Rameshwaram beach to show him how the birds fly, how the thrust is applied, and how they are able to lift the wings and how the how the actual flight happens, right? And now, after that, he became a missile man. He was the one who was so keen in ISRO launches, right? So many of the satellite launches. Thanks to his science teacher, who put the seed of making things of how things work. So teaching our children in the right way is equally important, not just everybody becomes a graduate. The kind of problems that India face today is that <coughs> close to 80% of the graduates cannot find a job. Why? Because they do not know the real stuff. Fundamentals are not there. Second, they do not have life skills. If you look at those kids, the Chotu guys coming and taking the stage and talking so well. <coughs> Did you see that? The introductory leaders, uh, what, what, what do you call it as? Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Instructor. Young instructor leaders. Imagine the kind of opportunity that they get to be able to go and teach others. It was rightly pointed out, right? 10% you hear it through seeing and then uh, reading and then some more person through touch and feel and some more person to, through, you know, learning it through experimentation and 95% through teaching. And imagine the kind of immense knowledge that these children will get because they are teaching. Their funda has to be so clear when they are going and when, with the questions that the students are going to ask, their knowledge gets improved. improved. So this is the place which, as you said, right? It's 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 creates that kind of a. Yeah. I mean, this is my first time when I came for like uh, some this type of place. So I saw means uh, the way of teaching, a completely practical way. Means uh, if you will see that see them, then you will definitely learn something different every time. And learn it forever. Learn it forever. Correct. It's not some theorem or uh, equation that you forget once you leave the classroom, right? So Every time you see a water fountain, you know how it works. 
<laughs> None of us knew how it works, right? The water fountain, we know how it works. <laughs> Uh, in my college days, I uh, did some volunteering service. So after getting to work, uh, I feel really bad. I become selfish. Uh, I feel like uh, I, I'm not doing. I'm not uh, doing anything good. Uh, not for myself, for others. So it is really changing uh, my. I feel my uh, career life is changing myself to very much service. So I take this as a very much uh, good opportunity and thanks to Navi and all. educate the people and how we can motivate the people so it is really awesome I will um, keep uh, in touch with those guys to do more voluntary service wishing you a great journey in your spiritual path I think you have taken a spiritual path of looking at others and not just about yourself and welcome Thank you. okay so wish you wishing you a great journey in that path yes sir. hello everyone first of all it's very tough to it's, uh, uh, sum up this entire two days experience and two days that I'll try my best. So kudos to the entire team of Augusta, whatever they, they, they have been doing. So it's a great job, like learning through experience. That's a big thing. The experiment that we did, those were really very simple, but I was stupid enough not to crack them at the first go. So I've learned a lot and I'll try my best to share this learning with others when I go back to my place, whether in Bangalore or whether in my native. Next thing, what Agasta is doing, the, they have uh, visited many NGOs and all, they are providing food and shelter, many things they are providing to the uh, society. So what Agasta is doing, they are not providing fish or food to the people, they are teaching, teaching, teaching. them how to catch the fish, so that they can, um, and one more thing, we happened to so many places through my previous company, through SP also, where we created an impact on the people and their lives, but this is first program which had an impact on my life and I am definitely wow. going to change. Thanks. Good, Amit. And by the way, you were not stupid, you were just not open. <laughs> okay? Nobody is stupid. We just don't open our mind. None of us are stupid. Okay? Thanks, much. <laughs> <laughs> that is very heartening for all of us, right? None of you are stupid, okay? Including me. <laughs> okay, before telling about August, I will tell one thing about me. Uh, till my age standard, I have never scored more than 100 total. When <laughs> people, total, total, total. So, yes. total. people scored 90 percent, 100 percent. Honestly, this is people. How you get this? <laughs> then one teacher changed my life, and I'm here. So I am thinking also on that angle how I can change others. I have already took leave for July and August. So this is a, you can call as a Sunne Peshwaga, mm -hmm. and I got this mail immediately. I registered. So I want to learn what they, these guys actually do so that I can learn this model, so that I can try whatever I am, I, I, I have a plot for two months, what I am going to do, so if possible, I will, whatever I learned from here, I will try to implement there also, so that it is very useful for me than everybody else, I think. So it came at the right time? Yes. There was a serendipity? Yes. Okay, so please come and share your story of how your program, now, right now you are keeping it under wraps, and you but do not want to share, so whenever you are ready, there is to not time actually. Yeah, whenever you do, let's go on, go on. I'll be quick and I'll sit and talk. So, uh, the, the main thing that came across is it is not you know just science that they are doing, you know, that focus is very comprehensive, you know, entire uh, development of not just the child but the society itself. So, I feel you know there are a lot of avenues where we can work together and I hope you know something moves forward and I'm actually able to do something beyond this little bit Okay, good. Uh, first of all, I think the Agastya folks did a tremendous job in packaging this whole thing for us, giving us the right flavors in two days. So thank you very much for putting that thought into it. Um, so my experience is yesterday we went, when we went to visit the villages, so uh, I got a chance to actually speak to the kids. She was talking to them in, in Hindi and I was translating that in Telugu. That's when I figured that how much 
my mother tongue actually helped. I could really connect to the kids. I I am from Andhra Pradesh, but moved out for the first time ever. I am experiencing that I can actually use my mother tongue to reach out to these children. So I feel very emotionally connected to them, and the sheer energy is so infectious. So I loved just talking to the kids. So I definitely want to come back and contribute in my way. So I'm a trained dancer. Uh, I I do teach in you know small groups. At home, so I'd love to come and. We saw that yesterday. Wonderful, wonderful. We also have a joint. Very good. Informally, we also have uh, dance classes here. Informally, every uh, month we have dance classes. So I'd to love to come to down and contribute sure. that way. Yeah. Yes, Raja. The last two days, the experience was very good here, and uh, this is the first time I am uh, participating in a social impact event from HP. and i had a great experience and one thing i liked is i mean the education system where we have born and brought up i mean the thing is i mean when a student asks a question to a teacher i mean they feel like uh, they're doing something wrong or they are questioning their uh, ability generally the concept generally, is that you are challenging the teacher uh, something like that even parents i mean most of the parents they feel i mean we are uh, grown up in such an environment where we feel questioning our elders or teachers is a wrong is something wrong so hope agastya will change that i mean agastya is agastya is changing i mean at least now the students who are i mean uh, now they they will come up and ask lot of questions so that they can learn more like good right <coughs> It has been pretty impressive. I'm very really impressed by what others say there. Like I'm starting this concept of uh, kindling the curiosity in the children because I heard from somebody that uh, main challenge, one of the main challenge in education is that how do you make the kids curious themselves? Once once you kindle the curiosity, first they will try to find out that try to chart out their own path. What I'm wondering what is that? How to make this kind of uh, personality available to each and every kid in India? I mean that's a major challenge. Because But well, still, uh, we are limited to only the few border states and few mobile phones. So, how we can take it to the each kid? And probably, if I can think of something for them, that would. If each of us want to do it in our village, setting up this ma- mobile this thing for two thousand rupees a month or something like that, those many villages, forty villages would get taken care. <laughs> okay, so it's a very interesting experience. Uh, thanks to Pankaj <coughs> and. Uh, Nadeen and uh, the Agastya team. Uh, actually, my throat is you know, gone because of so much <laughs> songs and enjoying a lot. Uh, this experience is really great, you know, because uh, this is uh, going to the grassroots level of the, you know, education to the children, especially to the rural area. I believe uh, this can contribute to the urban side of the, you know, uh, kids as well, because you see in the schools in the city also. The kids are not getting a lot of opportunity to do this type of hands-on experience at all. Uh, I think they should you know, gradually take it up to the next level of uh, reaching the urban kids as well. That's an important point. Uh, so I want to make two points about Alexia. The first thing is, uh, I, I first I want to congratulate uh, them uh, for all this because if if they are able to uh, engage people like us. and you can think of how they can engage uh, small kids because we as elders we have gone through all these phases and we are so enthusiastic about learning their techniques and uh, you can imagine about the kids how how in into they will be to learn something and one thing is the major barrier for the kids uh, i mean the whole education process is that we see it something uh, something <coughs> different something extra we have to strive hard for it rather than taking everything as a learning experience it's part of life education is part of life it's not seen that way either by students nor the parents so, uh, neither in our neither. current system education yes. is the end state yes so it's like you have to put a lot of effort to learn something it's it's seen that way and agastya is breaking that to make uh, to make the uh, to make them realize that education is part of your life and how it can ease your life and the second point uh, as already mentioned this is not an ex- uh, this is not only for the rural areas or for rural rural kids because nine, i i am for sure that 90% of the schools don't even they are in the urban or they are most modern uh, schools they don't have this kind of culture a uh, teaching culture so it's it's an example for all the schools all the students they have to come here learn from uh, from these techniques and they they want to uh, 
they learn better. So they, these are the two points I want to make. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Uh, the first thing that I want to say is yes. I'm already associated with some of the schools and NGOs in Bombay. And very closely or very important with the NGOs are like even my first year BCA college fees was paid by one of the NGOs. That's how even I was uplifted. So now my creator has given me the chances to pay back to the same NGOs. I go back, I, I teach over there. Or oh, I mean, after coming back to Bangalore, I am not in touch with them, like going back and teaching, but still I'm contributing to them. One. Second is, I feel bad that we didn't had such kind of learning methodology in our school life. That's true. I don't know, I mean, that would have definitely made a big change in our life as well. Third point is, I, by when we were coming to Maybe Google... Maybe you wouldn't have become software engineers. <laughs> okay. Third point is when we were coming to Kupam, there was a professor, Whitefield uh, Bicom professor sitting next to me and I remember his, word, his words, he said to serve the community, mind is more important than money. So that's what, that's what I would like to say to everyone, that if we have the mind to serve the community, that's more than important. Uh, the means will come. The means will definitely come. Okay. Great. Thank you, Augustine. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, so for me, it's been a completely different weekend altogether. You know, never been associated with anything of this kind. Wow. Okay. So for me, it's it's a welcome change. And uh, what I noticed is, and what I firmly believe is, uh, rural children are not inferior compared to any one of us who are, you know, brought in urban surroundings. You look at sports, I've seen so many people who are doing well, especially from the rural part of India, not just, you know, people who have all the facilities, you know, they are in big cities like Bangalore, Chennai. Dhoni, for example, being the most successful captain, he comes from a small town. So I feel that there is tremendous potential in rural India. It's just about, you know, uh, tapping that potential or showing them the right direction. And then uh, Agastya has been probably instrumental in doing, uh, you know. And uh, I don't know at, at this point in time how I can help or how can I be an enabler. But I can certainly go back, think about it, and come back, you know, with some fresh thoughts as to, you know, what what little I can do uh, to start with. Yeah, thanks, Yeah. So it's been wonderful experience, actually. Uh, thanks to our HP management and as well as to Agastya. Uh, two things which I would like to highlight is like uh, uh, whenever we want to bring up a kid, actually, whenever, whenever we want to make a good citizen out of you know the kids, there are two things. One is education, another is values. So, education is one very important thing which many of us are you know uh, addressing actually. Uh, I hope like you know, will also include this value-based education. See, as he said, like, you know, mind, you make a powerful mind, but without values, if you make a powerful mind, you know, it's going to distract. So it should be along with the values. So that's one thing. And, uh, yeah, so in my mind, I have got several thoughts and several ideas. So, but I would like to, you know, uh, go through via HP and as well as, you know, probably I will get associated with Agassi on a one-to-one -one basis also. Thank you. First of all, first of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, Agastya for uh, uh, giving giving me a, uh, learning through experiments. Uh, also, I congratulate them uh, because they have impacted 40 leaders from HP. <laughs> so, uh, and I believe that these masters uh, will be multiplied. And uh, um, I uh, I enjoy nature very much here and the conceptual garden also uh, was uh, 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 very useful in learning things how we can cure some diseases through uh, herbal thing, things. Uh, I thank you all. Hello, good afternoon and uh, I would like to thank Navin and team for organizing this first of all. And it was a nice experience for the past two days. And I have been working with different NGOs and I used to work uh, with another NGO near my village. And uh, we, myself, my sister, my brother used to go to our village school and uh, inspire, try to inspire them like, like uh, during January, February time period. Because like, after 10 they will go to a shop and start working. Or after plus 2 they will go to another shop and start, start working. They never thought about going for a higher studies. Because like that 4,000 or 3,000 salary is a bigger for them, bigger amount for them. So let me go and tell them that there is another world beyond that. So we used to do that. And if they have any 
problems in their curriculum, you just won't teach them and help them to, uh, what to say, come out of, to figure, figure out how to write the exams. So we never thought of giving them the knowledge of how to think. From here, like, I got a different perspective of how to teach to children. Now it will be a different kind of experience for them. So when now. you go and teach, it will be a different yeah, way of teaching. Yeah, different way of teaching. Good. I like two things most about our stage. One thing is the innovative way of teaching. And the good thing I also that they stifle someone who is studying and also same time he is suffering something financial and got the money to continue his study and he is getting better. The two things I think best for us. Also I like the edu the Benjo who is working on education, not feeding people so all the things. Yeah, that is the better best. one. And the, that's two things I like best. And the one thing I don't like, I need more greenery in this compound. Oh, good. <laughs> That's why I want to give mm. solution. Good. That's all. They are trying. It's a very difficult place ah, to go. I know. This, this is the first time I'm coming for a social event and uh, being a part of this team is being really proud because one big family was ready to do any kind of social activity at any point of time. So True. really proud of the entire team. Uh, True. We don't know anybody over here. Let us like come together. It's a nice opportunity. We we'll definitely want to uh, get more and more into social. Work. So we'll get in touch with Navin and Pankaj and see how, can, how I can help. Good. So I think uh, uh, the first big message is thank you. Uh, I think I won't tell the people that are guests here first. Uh, they are too busy. <laughs> they are listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these guys are listening. So just, they are all at us. Uh, I just think it's an amazing experience. Magic teacher. Uh, I also think that uh, uh, you have given us a lot. And uh, uh, over two days, for us, with people with so much of privileged backgrounds, uh, to come to Agastya and get so much is very, very humbling. So I feel very grateful that you have given us an experience which we will carry. And uh, I hope all of us, at least I know for myself, but I hope all of us can return something back to you because you've given us a lot in this thing. So that's the first big message. Thank you. Uh, I think the second thing, and I'll throw it open right now rather than keep it to an email so that it's fresh in people's mind. When I think about what we could do, right, together uh, and things like that, there are a couple of things I wanted to with, perhaps think about. I also speak from my experience in this sector before. Um, the first thing is, I see you be, You have a faith in young leaders, right? Uh, and uh, uh, this is a program which is worldwide believed. So if you look at Africa, they have that African Leadership Academy, which is, again, young leaders, right? We're also, in our company, trying to make young leaders, right? And can we think about mentor-mentorship programs, whereby we as young leaders can learn from your young leaders? Right? And maybe we can also give back something to them. So that's the first thing which I want thinking. And I'm saying it you know, right now rather than keeping it to email and things like that. Uh, the second thing is, I think the foundation has a lot of uh, uh, valuable things to offer to the society, uh, which can be great revenue streams for you. right? So when I think about uh, your curriculum, your uh, experiments, your uh, uh, art projects, right? They are extremely valuable to society. And I think if you have the right kind of support uh, to build series, books, kits, you know, science kits, I use all these things here. If I was in an art gallery, they would all be, and I know some professional people will polish them all, they can fetch a very good price in the market. And I'm not saying it from commercial terms, but income makes the person independent, right? Sustainability is important. And all your kids and your families they all need that sustainability. So one point of cooperation is natural cooperation, mentor mentorship. The second one to me is cooperation to help a, a business or a setup going within the foundation, right? Yeah. So that, I think uh, what we will do is that we will have a one-on-one -on -one -one kind of thing yeah. to give them the idea because yeah, yeah. the whole there program is... Can you just uh, please yeah. take it two minutes and we just... Yeah, take, take it, yeah. Sure. Go ahead. So Attention. Short. So I think I think from what I have learned from this visit is that there are so many more opportunities with what we can do. I, I never thought we could do so many things other than you know, contributing financially. So I think it just opens up a whole lot of opportunities. Yeah. So I think I should not have too many things not to contribute. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good. Hey, uh, I've been teaching for one and a half years in the US. I was teaching in a similar program. But the way you guys are doing it is much more creative, much innovative. It's like the best 
teaching setup I've seen. The teachers are very wonderful. They go out, they go out to motive to make sure the student learns something. It's not a job for them. It's something what they really want to do. And I think as if we are willing to contribute, we have to contribute in a similar way. It has to be a motive for us, not just you know we do social work kind of thing. So. Um, I think for me this has been the first time I've done something like this, I mean ever, forget about HP or anything, so it's really opened my eyes to the fact that you know a community is beyond just contributing a little bit of money from a tax perspective at the end of the year. Uh, there's a lot that we can do physically, there's a lot, of that, lot that we can contribute if we put our mind to it. And it's really nice to see the kind of enthusiasm, the kind of commitment that the people here have towards their communities and the model that they have built around sustained leadership. You know. So that, I think, is really inspiring. And if there's an opportunity for us to even do one small thing for them that can help them take it forward, I think that will make a big difference for us. Maybe not for them, but definitely for us. Thanks. So for me, it's, it's been a complete paradigm shift in terms of learning and also in terms of exploring new pedagogical tools. Uh, so at the same time, like I feel like fortunate and unfortunate uh, in similar lines, uh, as to say, like we were not exposed to such kind of a learning techniques and you know teaching techniques when during our foundational years. But however, now we have got exposed, and there's a wonderful opportunity to duplicate and then and cash upon this and then spread, spread it across to the larger community. That's my perspective. Yeah, yeah. She has not a dad. My first thanks would be to David and Pankaj for organizing this. My first NGO visit is this. And first thing I noticed is it's not always you take something from someone. It's, and you can give it in such small ways. Like Arundhati ma'am got a chocolate. A girl comes running all the way to give something. You know, that's very nice. And the second thing they say, there are a lot of girls who are coming forward and doing this. And my only request would be that we have weekends which are two days and I'm sure one Saturday of a month coming and teaching here or doing something and they said they have two groups in Bangalore working on this. And it would be nice to go and work and I've asked them that I will go and do something on at least one Saturday of my month. And thanks for it. I, uh, first of all, uh, I would say it's a myth nowadays that uh, the youth doesn't know what's wrong with the country. Only thing is channelizing the energy to try to do something and this is one opportunity that has been given to us uh, by the social impact team and uh, the, what, the way Agastya is working is amazing. First of all, the main problem with villages nowadays is the will to do something and cultivate that will to do something in children is the main thing because if the children have a will to study, they will study. Their parents or something, they will find a way to do it. So main thing is cultivating the will to do it and to teach all these complex subjects in such an entertaining way that it, they not only study, they understand it so that they can carry it lifelong. So I hope Thank you.